You asked for it. Today we are in Weatherford, Texas, and I can't wait to show you everything Weatherford has to offer. Do you love the country and wide open spaces and you're moving to the Dallas-Fort Worth area? I have a special treat for you. Today we're talking about Weatherford, Texas. Weatherford, Texas is 30 minutes or about 30 miles west of Fort Worth and it has a population of about 40,000 people and it encompasses about 28 square miles and so there's a lot of room here. If you want an entry level home or you want a luxury equestrian property, Weatherford has it. I would call Weatherford a rural suburb and many of the residents here commute to Dallas and Fort Worth. Weatherford has a charming town square full of shops and restaurants along with many historic homes. You can find ranches here along with property with two or three acres as well as a smaller lot neighborhood. The housing here is considerably less than in the big cities of Dallas, Fort Worth. People love Weatherford because of the small town atmosphere, but it's positioned so well right next to Fort Worth. And it's growing at 9% a year. The average household income for Weatherford, Texas is $80,000. This area was settled in the 1850s and it has lots of Texas small town charm. It's known for its annual peach festival each July. Also known as the cutting horse capital of the world, Weatherford is home to dozens of professional trainers and hall of fame horses. So peaches and horses, how Texan is that? So what's the lifestyle like in Weatherford, Texas? Well, I definitely would say it's small town country charm with a little bit of a modern feel, especially with these beautiful modern homes being built right now. The big draw to the town square is where the 137 year old Parker County Courthouse looms large. You would love visiting the Weatherford downtown area. There's a lot of historic architecture. It's kind of like stepping back in time. There's boutiques here, coffee shops, cafes, great place to hang out. You can even find an old time pharmacy with an ice cream counter and a shoe repair shop. In the market for a stuffed bear? Well, they have that as well. It's only $4,200. The city does have plans to renovate this area, so you can anticipate that traffic will improve in parking later this year. So we decided to try lunch in the downtown square at Whistle Hill Downtown Cafe. It's good food in a laid back, definitely country, old timey Texan feel atmosphere. I love this little cafe here. You're also gonna find fine dining down here as well as a pub and a coffee shop. This downtown area also has a really neat vintage car museum and a farmer's market that's open seven days a week. I love a good farmer's market. This is such a charming area and it's going to continue to flourish. If you are a conservative or if it matters to you, you definitely want to know. This is conservative country. Take a look. Also, there is a church almost literally on every street corner. As we were driving through, we're literally going that, 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 that every single corner. So, I mean, they're just, churches galore. So you're definitely in the Bible Belt in conservative country in Weatherford, Texas. Weatherford also has a few small shopping centers with national change like Home Goods, Best Buy, Target, Kohl's, as well as many chain restaurants. And the big movie theater here is called Film Alley and it also has a bowling alley and an arcade. Grocery shopping is super simple in Weatherford because there's a Kroger, a Walmart, and the Texan favorite HEB grocery stores. By the way, my name is Dana Pollard. I'm a real estate agent and we help people move to Texas. We specialize in relocation. And so if you are looking at buying a home in Texas, fill out the dream home questionnaire in the link below to schedule your one-on-one -on -one Zoom consultation and we will help make your transition super easy. 
well, as easy as relocation can be. So let's talk about the outdoors and events of Weatherford, Texas. Now, in country living, you're naturally gonna be outdoors probably a little more than the city folk. <laughs> Uh, I mean, but you're gonna have parks in Weatherford. There's a lot, of, many, many people own horses and there are wide open spaces for you to utilize in Weatherford. So Heritage Park is near downtown and it's an exciting development. It connects downtown with an outdoor amphitheater and hosts events like Movie in the Park, Spark in the Park, which is the largest fireworks display in the entire Tri-County area, and Holiday in the Park with a petting zoo, snow play areas, holiday music, and food trucks. And just off the square is Chandor Gardens. Y'all, this is a beautiful park. We went to the park, we saw people getting their wedding photos there, a quinceanera photos, um, it, but it's a beautiful stroll through gardens and it has some beautiful walking trails. This is a beautiful one-of-a-kind mansion with 3.5 acres of gardens. So a portrait painter started the gardens here in the 1930s. Take a look, isn't it beautiful? The artist Douglas Chandor painted portraits of Winston Churchill and FDR, but eventually he settled in Weatherford of all places. These gardens are on the National Register of Historic Places. And guess what? Weatherford has a lake. Every great town needs a nearby lake. So Lake Weatherford, it spans over 1,100 acres of fishing, boating, and water sports. And it's less than 15 minutes from downtown downtown Weatherford that is. As far as events, like I mentioned earlier, Parker County is good peach country and harvesting begins in June and the peach festival is held on the second Saturday in July. More than 35,000 people attend this event. It's everything peaches, peach pie, peach ice cream, peach tea, you name it. It's got peaches. Also on the calendar are several rodeos, which are one of my favorite things here in Texas, and horse cutting events. Driving around the city, you will see plenty of horses and cows along with other livestock. So living in Weatherford, where would we begin? The median home price in Weatherford, Texas is 400,000. Now for single family homes, you can get a home at 200,000 on up to, I've seen 11.5 million for an equestrian ranch. Beautiful. Like most everywhere, uh, the market has slowed down and so the average days on market for a home is 52 days. There is so much to choose from for housing here. You have historic Victorians, craftsman style near downtown, um, all the way to master plan neighborhoods like Bar H Ranch, or you have luxury ranches with 10, 20, 100 acres that you could purchase. There are starter homes, mid-range homes, and luxury homes here in Weatherford, Texas. Now there are several communities, and even though they are have a Weatherford address, do know that some of these communities on the outskirts of Weatherford may go to Azle schools or Springtown schools. So if that's important to you, then do check the school district before you land in a home in Weatherford. Um, I would say that Azle and Springtown have great housing that are right around this Weatherford area as well. Another thing to keep in mind when purchasing a home in Weatherford, Texas is uh, many of these homes, even in subdivisions, may be on a septic tank versus city sewage. Uh, maybe there's a well and you may or may not want that, but definitely check with your real estate agent to see if there's a septic tank, city water, all of the like. Let's talk about the schools in Weatherford, Texas. Weatherford ISD, Independent School District, serves over 8,100 students. There are seven elementary, two middle, and a ninth grade center with one high school whose mascot is the kangaroos. The schools get great community support for athletic competition, fine arts productions, and events. And the Texas Education Agency gives it a rating of a B. Weatherford has a few Christian private schools as well. And as always, there are homeschool communities 
all over. As for higher education, Weatherford College is a community college of 150 years. There's more than 35 study areas and 19 professional technical programs. This college was originally built by the Masons as and was one of the first established in Texas. It's a great campus near downtown Weatherford. Other than retail in the Weatherford area, it's not like a large employment location, which is why many people commute to Fort Worth or even Dallas. So the Weatherford College is actually the number one employer in Weatherford, Texas. So if you're in downtown Weatherford, it takes about 20 minutes to get to the outskirts of Fort Worth. Let's talk about the cost of living in Weatherford, Texas. Now groceries are about the same as in Dallas, Fort Worth, here in Weatherford, but let's take a look at bread, milk, eggs, and gas was $3.28 a gallon on the day we shot the video. Put in the comments how much gas is in your town right now. Now as for electricity, the city of Weatherford owns and operates its own electric power distribution system and this serves over 13,000 customers. Now on traffic. Uh, even though there's a lot of wide open country spaces, traffic can get congested in the main thoroughfares. Um, and then I would also say as you go into Fort Worth off Highway 20, it can get backed up going into downtown if that's where you are going to be commuting to. And yes, they are going to be working on the traffic flow around the city square. But other than that, it's pretty free flowing in Weatherford. Let's talk about the pros and cons of Weatherford, Texas. First off, there's a wide variety for pros, a wide variety of housing available. And even in the luxury sector, you're getting so much more for your money and so much more space for your money than if you were closer into the city. It is a slower paced lifestyle and it is a small town atmosphere with a lot of community support. Many people love to show up at the high school football games. As for the cons, I would say, if you love to travel, DFW Airport is a good hour away. And of course, if you live in the country, emergency services may take a little bit longer to get to you if there's an emergency. And for uh, specialty services, say in the healthcare, you're probably just gonna have to drive a little further than if you were in the city. But those are all to be expected with country living. At the end of the day, Weatherford is a wonderful, conservative, country town that you may enjoy living in. We've had several people request this video probably for years now and we have finally <laughs> released it. So thank you all. If you have any other towns you'd like us to highlight, put them in the comments below. And if you're looking at buying a home in Texas, fill out the dream home questionnaire in the link below. And even uh, we also have a on-site lender now that if you want to know how much you can afford or if you can get pre-qualified or um, you know what your payment plan might be if you did decide to purchase a home or you need a game plan for purchasing a home uh, fill out the link below to start a mortgage application and talk with our loan officer on site see you in the next video